we've uh, we've had this grab sitting in the garage for I think it's probably been years now actually for the map bro and these are the brackets we bought in the last video and where they're sitting is where they're gonna actually have to end up but the problem is there's a hinge so there's gonna be an awful lot of building to get her to sit up there and a uh, well, those other ones have to come off as well because they're going to be in the way, unless we build her up. But there's one... There's one that looks similar in an auction and it says it's four foot six. This one here's only four foot four. So I'm going to go and... <laughs> I'm going to go with a measuring tape this time and see what she is. Um, and I'll, I'll show you that now, sure, if I've, if I've done it. So this is as much for my benefit as, as anyone else's. I'm at an auction, and this lady is four foot four, and there's only 44 inches between that bracket and that one. Which is unfortunately just not big enough for my brackets. So, back to the drawing board. The, um, the Mapro, width of the Mapro from the outside of this cone to the outside of this cone. Four foot one, or near as makes no difference. And a, uh, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but there's a, there's a flat edge on the Mapro. You can see the line there actually. That edge means that you can't have a hinge out below the cones. Isn't great. I'm actually going to take her out now, so I'll do it. I'll do a proper video whenever she's out. And this is the the nut fields grab. You can see her. She's well. She's there. The map is there. She is three foot eight across to the very outside. So the map brackets would be going well again on this hinge, but they'd be going about here. You're not going to have very much, you'd have a wild bit of building to do. And she'd be narrower than the headstock, so you wouldn't get in tight to the wall and everything. But she works all right in the nut field because she's way into wheel drive and everything. So we'll get a better look at the map row one to show you what I mean. But so I've pulled her out to show you this. So the pin's here, and there's this flat board that runs, and you need to have room. For it as well um, and there is another auction on and there's a bigger grab at it so I've, I've put a bid on it fingers crossed we'll get it and we'll get to go and have a look at that so whether we were unlucky or lucky Meg <laughs> you're a bad dog you're a bad dog we've uh, we've won this at the auction and she's never actually measured her, but she's supposed to be five foot and the brackets will fit in between the two hinges. But she's... <laughs> she needs an awful lot of work done to her and she's missing a heap of times and stuff, but I'll, I've left the mapper there just until... I think Dad's going to get a chain. He'll give me a hand to take her off. Um, yeah, I'll give you a better walk around her before we get her off, sure. She's out in my trailer now, anyway. And the trailer's back where she should be. There's a... There's, there's quite a bit wrong with her that we didn't see in the auction itself. So down here, she's a wee bit of a crack in her. And that pin's all right, but that pin's done. And as you can see, there's a couple of short teeth in her. She's got the matching crack here. And she's... A couple of those teeth on her have been straightened, which isn't pulled out, you know. And she's still got the wrong brackets, but at least she's wide enough to fit her. We measured her there. She is wide enough to fit her, her pin and cones on. Um, we don't actually know if it's going to be more work to get this one fixed up than it is to fix up the one we have in the garage, the four foot four one. This one's actually five foot two. I just measured it as well. Um, so, 
I kind of have to wait the dad to see what he says, but he, he was saying, even if she's useless, we can always fix the one in the garage or get another one and use this part of her here as like a dung grab for the Mopro. So, only she was cheap at the auction, we wouldn't have been buying her. But yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye.